Hello, and welcome to the Cryptocurrency News Channel. If you want to join me on my daily live streams, check out Good Free Photos channel. I'm streaming on that channel right now in the link and in the description below. Also, check out Crypto Daily Update, one great crypto video for all your crypto updates for the day. Let's actually get on to today's story, which is Binance. Now, Binance was kicked out, out of China unceremoniously about two years ago, but now it might be the return of the king. What I mean is Binance actually registered a domain name with the Chinese government, and it's actually been approved. And, uh, and it's likely registered three companies in China. Now, my big hope is this means that China has actually gotten over their crypto exchange ban, and then Binance will actually be able to operate in China, uh, trading cryptocurrencies. Because if Binance is going to be able to trade in China, that means it will be able to trade the Chinese coins. NEO, VT, Ontology, uh, tr I don't know if Tron's really a Chinese coin, but several others. That means those coins that are actually approved by China will go way up. And since I hold VET, that's obviously really good for me. We're talking major pump coming soon if Binance is actually able to trade in China. If they are able to trade in China, it will be very regulated, and there'll probably be only a couple of coins the Chinese government has approved. That would probably include Ethereum, EOS, VeChain, and a couple of others. So maybe those coins will actually pump up big time because of china actually allowing um people to invest in these coins and chinese people just like korean people will invest in the, their own coins more so that's my big hope now what are the chances that i think probably like five percent i'm really really hoping that happens but i know it's a very long shot china is like basically anal about controlling all money flowing in and out of their country china has like printed way too much money and the thing is like most chinese businessmen like they'll say otherwise but big businessmen know that like, if it, if it were allowed for them to actually uh, exchange RMB for USD or RMB for any other currency, almost all of them would do it. And the country would actually kind of in, it, almost uh, overnight would experience this like hyperinflation thing. So they don't want to do it, which is why they actually cancel crypto exchanges as well, because they don't want people exchanging RMB for US uh, for BTC and then exchanging BTC for USD. So even if they allow it, it's going to be extremely regulated. It's going to be a couple of coins that China has actually approved. And it's going to have like severe locks about um, basically transferring uh, these coins for USD or other currencies. So even if they do actually allow it, it still will be a big boom, especially for Chinese cryptocurrencies. We saw what happened uh, when China actually allowed blockchain lay last year. A lot of the Chinese coins, especially VET, actually boomed. So if China actually allowed a cryptocurrency exchange operating in its country, that would be a big signal for Chinese coins as well. But even if that happens, it won't be free trade. Um, for you at for fiat pairs they're going to control it extremely they're going to ex control it and monitor it extremely well they're going to monitor like who's actually buying the coins who's actually transferring the coins in, to other exchanges and you will not be able to transfer probably more than fifty sixty thousand dollars from like the chinese vet exchange to another vet exchange where you can actually sell for usd or another fiat currency but even though it'll be really controlled the public sentiment for coins like VET, NEO, Ontology will go way, way up if China actually announced, uh, allowed Binance. And the, one of their ministries actually has approved the Binance.com domain name buy. Now, they might only do OTC sales. And that would be a little boost, but not very much because OTC is for really rich people. And it won't allow the masses to actually come in. But even then, that is a start. And, and Binance has actually been saying that they're going to start an OTC desk in China sometime once it gets approved. So this might be that first step. Hopefully, like, it's a better step and they'll, they'll actually allow, like, a real exchange like Binance to operate on Chinese soil with RMB pairs. I know that's somewhat unlikely, but I'm hoping that's actually what it is. But otherwise, you know, even if it's an OTC desk, I think that's at least a start and it might open up some of the Chinese coins to more investors. And that might be what the government's after. They want foreign investment and this is one way they can actually suck in foreign investment because like VET does have billionaire investors or at least multi-millionaire investors. So does NEO and the other projects and making it easier for foreign people to actually purchase these coins uh, within China would be a great way for them to inspire investment. So hopefully this is the start of China starting to open up for cryptocurrencies and that would make our coins moon. So that's the report for today. Let me know what you think, like, and subscribe and hit that bell notifications button. Remember, I still think it's only a 5% chance that uh, they'll actually open up a cryptocurrency exchange on the mainland. Thank you and have a nice day.